Evil takes many shapes, hiding in the shadows. You see it move in the corner of your eye. You turn to confront it, only to find what's staring back is you. The Doppelganger, an aberration, a double, a clone, a being that is you, without actually being you, though it will happily fulfill that role. Gaming is chock full of these creatures, and we are here to count down the best of them. To make it on this list, we'll be looking at how much the doppelganger has impacted the story, the gameplay, character development, iconic moments, gaming as a whole, and most importantly, what makes it stand out as more than just a copy. And as such, there will be major spoilers, including ones from newer games. You have been warned. Hey, I'm SpammerD. And I'm SpammerD. Ah, crap baskets. Cultivated to be the ultimate fighter and a living weapon. Born from the DNA of one of the world's strongest ninjas, Alpha 152 began its life as one of her many, many clones. Keyword there being began. And if being a clone wasn't enough to make a doppelganger list, it had its DNA modified to become the powerful monster you see before you. Not only taking Kasumi's form, but capable of transforming into others as well. Arguably the simplest and most straightforward doppelganger, Alpha 152 makes the cut for its sheer difficulty and evolutionary path, it being the brutally challenging final boss of Dead or Alive 4 and 5, and is even an unlockable character in the fifth game. It took a team of ninjas, including Ryu Hayabusa from Ninja Gaiden, Ninja Gaiden. Hey! one of the toughest gaming franchises ever, to finally bring Alpha 152 down. For now. Many of the doppelgangers on this list are powerful, but also kind of limited. Limited to the one being they are mimicking. The Pokemon Ditto has no such limitation. Believed to be a failed clone of the mythical Pokemon Mew, Ditto possesses just one move, Transform, as well as the imposter ability, allowing it to take the shape of its target, whether it be just a mere common Pidgey, or the god of the Pokemon world, and mimic all of its attacks. Outside of the games, Ditto is capable of transforming into objects, and even people. You're Ditto. Ditto. The potential of this doppelganger is nearly limitless, and the best part is, damage it enough, and its power can be yours. We have all made mistakes, did things we regret, things that make us hate ourselves. For the Dark Knight, Cecil Harvey, those mistakes were blindly following the orders of his king. Orders that clashed with his sense of justice. Orders that would bring death and despair to the innocent. And that's only the start of the game, because it just wouldn't be a Final Fantasy game if the world wasn't at stake. And in order to save it, Cecil would need to change, both figuratively and literally, to put his self-loathing behind him. By transforming into a paladin and taking up arms against his doppelganger, the Dark Knight he used to be. Cecil's Dark Knight doppelganger makes it on the list primarily for the change it represents, both for the story and the gameplay. Doing something that is truly difficult, changing who he is to overcome his past and hatred as well as creating one of the first story-driven class changes for the franchise. In the world of Persona 4, dwelling in the mysterious land of the Midnight Channel, lies your shadow, your darkness. It knows everything about you, your fears, insecurities, your true thoughts, your true self, and everything that you're hiding. And as we all know, the truth can be ugly, but denying it here can be deadly. Rejecting your darker half causes it to go berserk, transforming into a super-powered monster. Something that each member of the Persona crew finds out the hard way. Luckily for them though, you're here to help out. 
For this spot, we're going with all the characters' shadows, as opposed to any individual, as this scenario is relatively the same for all of them. Denies it herself, fights giant monster. Your personal favorite of the group is probably the one that hits closest to home for you, so feel free to put whichever character you want in this spot. Once defeated, and more importantly, accepted, the shadow transforms into a persona, becoming your power, making you stronger. It is the literal embodiment of conquering your demons. We all have that part of us that tells us that we just can't do it, that we'll fail, that we should just give up. And for Madeline, that part of her has taken physical form. Badline, also known as part of you or part of me, is Madeline's negative emotions manifested. Her dark reflection. And while similar to our previous two spots, what makes Badline stand out is that it's more than just one large moment in a grander tale. The game revolves around our heroine's journey alongside her. Throughout Celeste, she chases Madeline up the mountain, constantly getting in her way, sabotaging her, using her fears, her doubts, and anxiety against her, all just to make her give up on her journey, building up to that final confrontation. And just like our previous heroes, instead of simply just defeating her dark half, Madeline embraces her, makes amends, and together they do what neither could do alone. As we've seen, it's not that uncommon for a hero to face an evil doppelganger. But it's definitely not that common for them to have two separate doppelgangers. But when you're the galaxy's most badass bounty hunter, it's just another mission. Dark Samus from the Metroid Prime series and SAX from Metroid Fusion. Both take the form of the beautiful bounty hunter Samus Aran, but I gotta give this spot to SAX from Metroid Fusion. A transformed copy of Samus in her Varia suit and a ruthless killing machine. There's just something terrifying about a monster, one with your face, that spends the entire game hunting our mighty heroine down. A warrior who has defeated armies, and all she can do to survive is run, hide, and build up her arsenal for that inevitable final confrontation. There's an imposter among us. But unlike every other entry on this list, you don't know who it is, and the game revolves around figuring that out. Unless, of course, the imposter is you. In one of the biggest games of 2020, built around the idea of doppelgangers on the prowl, Among Us is one of the few times that we, the players, get to control the doppelgangers with purely evil intent. Keep yourself hidden from the other players, deceive them, turn them against each other, and slowly pick them off one by one. And with the newest addition to the game, Transform, it takes it to the extreme, letting you become other players, setting them up, causing confusion. Assuming you can pull it off. But the most frightening thing is that unlike all the other doppelgangers on this list, the imposter has already won, already killed and replaced your crewmate, your friend. There's no getting them back, no lessons learned. No saving them. Can you and the remaining crew suss them out before you go down with the ship? Well, that all depends on who you can trust. Not all doppelgangers are magical in nature, living shadows, or Lovecraftian monstrosities. No, some are made of metal. Created by the evil scientist Dr. Ivo Robotnik, Metal Sonic was designed to be faster, stronger, and smarter than his heroic counterpart, Sonic the Hedgehog. All for the sole purpose of destroying him. Appearing as a deadly boss fight in multiple games, a movie, and even taking the lead antagonist role a few times, Metal Sonic is one of the most iconic doppelgangers ever made. And even after suffering defeat after defeat from his rival, Metal learns, he grows, evolves. This cold calculating machine has gained its own ambitions and desires, which includes becoming the one true Sonic. And he'll keep coming back 
again and again until he claims that title. What? This world isn't big enough for both of us and one of us has to go? Well, I agree. Living shadows, possessed dolls, altered memories, digital duplicates, and nobodies. Pretty much the entire cast of Kingdom Hearts could fit the bill for what makes a great doppelganger. But we're going with the one that was specifically created for that purpose. Roxas, this is him. It's Sora. If you haven't played Kingdom Hearts, long story short, it gets pretty complicated, so this is not going to do it justice. But to sum it up, Xion is a living replica of the series' main protagonist, Sora. Forged from his memories, taking a different shape depending on who is perceiving her. Though us, the players, see her as a black-haired Kairi. What makes Xion stand above the others on this list is her journey. We watch her go from a shy, timid character, a mere puppet, to a character with her own personality friends, sense of justice, and most importantly, her own heart. She's not a monster, another part of someone else. By the end, she's her own person, only to have that taken from her. First, by her destiny, and then by your hand. Leave it to Nintendo to pull the same stunt twice, giving one of their biggest and most iconic characters not one, but two doppelgangers. <laughs> I am of course referring to the deadly duo of Dark Link and Shadow Link. Oh, don't act surprised, you saw this coming. And while it's up for debate whether these two are one and the same or not, as they have different origins, behaviors, lore, and other reasonings, for the sake of this list, we're sticking them together as they are both an evil version of Link. The hero's power turned against him. The core design of all doppelgangers. Arguably the first doppelganger in gaming, and if not, certainly the first that matters, Dark Link set the stage for all evil doppelgangers that followed, and still continues to be a prominent force in the Zelda franchise to this day, appearing as mid and final bosses alike. From the brutal final battle of Zelda 2, that pretty much required you to cheese him to win, to the saving grace of one of the most hated dungeons in gaming history, to showing up as an actual army of himself to fight against a squad of our hero. With them making appearances in so many games, with epic, unforgettable battles, and a mandatory color palette in Smash, Link's evil counterpart is easily the most memorable, most influential, and most iconic doppelganger in all of gaming. 